Hey everybody, it's Rocky, and I am here with another video recipe, and today we're gonna to be making a chocolate espresso pudding. And I am just, I am so excited for you guys to see this, because it just comes out just so thick, and rich, and delicious, and chocolatey, and it's just, it's amazing. And I really don't think this recipe needs any more of an introduction than that, so if you guys are ready, let's get started. Okie dokie, the first thing you want to do is chop up your chocolate morsels and you just want to basically chop them up until they are pretty much like chocolate shavings. And this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Into a mixing bowl, or I'm using a measuring cup, uh, put in a quarter cup of cornstarch. And to that you want to add in a quarter cup of vanilla almond milk. And you want to stir this all up until the cornstarch is all dissolved. And doing this is going to make sure that there's no lumps in your pudding. So make sure to mix this really well. Now into a saucepan, you want to go ahead and add in light brown sugar, some unsweetened cocoa powder, ground espresso, salt, cinnamon, and you want to set your saucepan to medium heat and add in your almond milk. And throughout this whole process you want to make sure that you're constantly stirring. And you just want to stir until all the ingredients are dissolved. Now you can go ahead and add in your cornstarch and almond milk mixture and keep stirring. And this is what's going to uh, thicken up your pudding. And again, throughout the whole process, you want to constantly keep stirring. Once your mix has come to a boil, you want to go ahead and put the heat on low, and then just keep stirring until the pudding thickens up. And then as soon as it thickens up, you want to go ahead and take it off the heat. Now we can go ahead and add in our chocolate shavings and our vanilla and then just mix until smooth. Now we can go ahead and pour in our pudding into our pudding cups. And then once we do that we can go ahead and just go uh, cover them with saran wrap and pop them into the fridge for about two or three hours. And this is what it looks like when we're done and I think we're ready for our taste test. All right, here we go. We're ready for our taste test. All right, here we go. Can you guys see this? Look at this. Ugh. Mm. Oh my gosh. It is just so creamy and rich. You can taste you can taste a little bit of the espresso. Mmm. Mmm. It's really it's really creamy. It's just decadent. That would be the word that I would use to describe this. Let me get look at this. Can you see this? Look at how ugh. It's just it's beautiful. Mmm. I just love the way it feels in my mouth. It's just nice and just creamy and just mm, delicious. It's like a little chocolate pillow in my mouth. So there you go. It was really easy. It was seven ingredients, all of seven ingredients. I think it took all of like maybe 10, 15 minutes to make. And then you just gotta leave it in the refrigerator to, to cool up or to, you know, to settle up. But the two things I would say to make sure to do is one is to combine that cornstarch with the equal parts of the almond milk or whatever type of liquid you prefer to use. If you want to use soy milk or rice milk or low fat milk, whichever, make sure to blend that really well together, the cornstarch and the, the liquid, um, and that's gonna prevent lumps. The other thing is you just want to bring the liquid up to a boil, and then once it boils, you want to lower the heat and then just constantly keep stirring um, 
until the, the mixture thickens and then take it off the heat and then add your chocolate and stuff because um, if you overcook that chocolate mixture, it, uh, it's, what's going to happen is it's gonna, the chocolate is going to seize up and it's going to be kind of like um, kind of chunky and you, nobody wants that. So those are the two most important things but other than that it was really simple. So if you guys have any questions at all leave them below. Um, also let me know what your favorite sweet treat is. Uh, like you know your favorite dessert or your favorite kind of like you know sweet little uh, treat that you like to have and maybe I'll make it an upcoming video. Uh, the recipe uh, will be on my website which I'll leave a link to below and until next time enjoy. Bye!